Hello guys. Welcome back to GDT Tech Reviews. In this video we are going to do a detailed review and pick the, the top 5 best Toshiba laptop. So let us get started and the review based on our studies and small research. If you have any personal suggestion do let us know in the comment section. If you are for the first time don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more videos. We will be also providing affiliates link to purchase from Amazon. Kindly used to for best offers and purchase from anywhere in the world. So let's get started. Dynabook later. For now, this review is about the 11th generation Intel processor based Dynabook Portega X30WJ model. Intel calls it an Evo core with Iris XE graphics, Wi Fi 6AX160, 9 plus hours battery, less than 1 second wake. Thunderbolt 4-ES4 and 40 Gbps data transfer. It has a 13.3 IXO, Corning Gorilla Glass and BT protected screen, X360 hinge that you can use in clamshell, tablet, presentation and flat modes. The Radius 11 features a simple, plastic clamshell body with what Toshiba calls a fusion finish in satin gold on its lid, flat silver inside and a nondescript gray on bottom. On its left side, there's a USB 3.0 port, HDMI, SD card reader and power button, while the right side features a single USB 2.0 port, combo headphone mic jack and a volume rocker. At 11.25 x 7.75 x 0.65 inches and weighing 2 pounds and 90 pence, the Radius 11 has a slight size and weight advantage over other 11-inch hybrids such as the HP Pavilion X360 and the Dell Inspiron 11 3011. 81 x 7.93 x 0.75 and 3 pounds and 7 pence, but it's not a big deal either way. Inside. The 11.6-inch, 1366x768 display disappoints, producing just 217 nits of brightness. That's below the 234 nit average of the 6 budget 2 inches dash 1 second we've tested recently, and a far cry from the first place Dell Inspiron 11 3000 and its 308 nits. The display's color range was similarly weak with the Toshiba recreating just 63.4% of the sRGB spectrum, once again behind the budget 2 inches. The black plastic Toshiba Tekra A50 gets a small dash of style from its textured lid and deck, but glossy sides give the laptop a less than premium feel overall. On the plus side, this is one of the rare laptops with a removable battery, a feature we're always pleased to find. Weighing 4 pounds and 80 pence, the Toshiba Tekra A50 is heavier than the 14-inch Lenovo ThinkPad T460, but lighter than the 15.6-inch Dell Latitude E5570. At 14.94 x 10.13 x 0.95 inches, it's about as thick as the Latitude E5570 and ThinkPad T460. When I watched a Suicide Squad trailer on the 15.6-inch, 1376x768 panel, I was distracted by the visual noise that permeated the entire clip. What should have been green grass on the White House lawn appeared as if it had suffered through a drought, and the Joker's skin looked even more sickly than intended. While a 1368x768 screen may cut it on a smaller, 11-inch notebook, putting a low-resolution panel onto a 15.6-inch display places a harsher spotlight on visual blemishes like digital artifacts. The Latitude E5570 and ThinkPad T460 also start with low-res displays, but both can be configured with 1080p screens, while the A50 cannot. According to our colorimeter, the Tekra A50 single quote S display produces only 64% of the sRGB spectrum. That's lower than the average mainstream notebook and Dell Latitude E5570. Toshiba's entire laptop line has been slightly redesigned for the 2013 back to school season. Although the S55T-A5277 isn't radically different from previous Toshiba satellite models, 
The body is a mix of brushed aluminum and black plastic, with an understated two-tone design that would work in an office, coffee shop, or at home. If the system cost a few hundred dollars more, it would be too plastic feeling, but as priced, it's just right. While not as thin and light as Razer's Blade Gaming Laptop, the S55T A5277 is close to other 14 and 15 inch Ultrabook style laptops we've seen. It's just over 5 pounds and a hair thicker than 1 inch. Dynabook's Satellite Pro range is pitched at mainstream knowledge workers, and with screen sizes ranging from 13.3 to 15.6 inches, there are options for a variety of needs. These are standard laptops, no convertibles here, but the pricing can be compelling. The Satellite Pro L50 has an unobtrusive design. The Dynabook logo appears prominently in silver on the lid, and the lid itself has a slight ridging that verges on the tacky. This continues on the inside across the whole of the keyboard section that's not punctured by keys, touchpad or power button. If you plan to carry this laptop far, then its size and build quality will be important. With a 15.6 inch screen this is, inevitably, a rather hefty laptop. It measures 361 mm wide by 244 mm deep and is 19.9 mm thick, giving plenty of room for port and slots. You'll need a strong shoulder, though, as the Satellite Pro L50 weighs 1.7 kg. Although thankfully the power brick is quite small and lightweight. Build quality is only average. One of my perennial issues with Dynabook's laptops is the amount of flex in the lid. I was unhappy with this with both a Portega A30e and Portega X30f at the end of last year, for example. Dynabook has inherited this issue from Toshiba, and it really could do with fixing. In the meantime, I suggest you invest in a protective sleeve. The upside of this laptop size is that there's room for a number pad to the right of the keyboard. Unlike that on the Asus and Book Flip 15 UX 563 FD that I looked at recently, which also has a 15.6 inch screen.